Welcome back to Exotic Car Play Place, everybody. Thanks for coming in again. And today's video is going to be special. We've been talking about reliability. We've been also talking about depreciation. Well, this vehicle is a 2019 Toyota 4Runner, and this encompasses all of the above. This is easily one of the least depreciating, most reliable vehicles on the market today. Let's talk about it now. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Mark with Exotic Car Play Place. So what is it about these 4Runners that makes them so reliable? And what is it that makes them not depreciate? Well, it's because it is both. And the fact of the matter is, what causes that? Well, let's take a look around and I'll show you. So let's talk about why this vehicle holds its value so well. A large reason for that is the popularity. And why is it so popular? Well, because it does a lot of great things well. First of all, look at the body style. That body style has been more or less consistent since 2012. And then even if you go to the older versions, the still general design theme is still very much the same. It's also popular because you've got easy use features like this. You've got a hatchback, opens up nicely like that. It has towing capabilities. It has room for lots of people. I mean, you have two, you have seats up front, seats in the back, and more importantly now, you have seats at the very back. Lots of passenger space here. Close that up. And so what other reasons do you have here to like these vehicles? Well, they do everything very well. They're four wheel drive, so they fit the bill for most people, especially if you live in Canada like we do here and you have snow on the ground for two thirds of the year, it's good to have something that's four wheel drive and that can tolerate the extreme temperatures. Well, Toyota has consistently shown that and Toyota is arguably one of the best, probably the best, most reliable vehicle on the planet. Why? Because that gets us to our next topic, simplicity. These vehicles don't overdo the complexity of things. I'll show you inside. Now it all really boils down to this. If you look around, the design theme is sturdy, robust, and simple. No complicated, finicky, trinkety little gadgets that are going to break down. The knobs are very sturdy all the way around. You see lots of nice controls that are simple to use, large and solid. Same thing here, you have controls. Everything in this vehicle is designed with simplicity and functionality in mind. So there's no reason that any of this stuff should start falling apart like you'd find in some of the older Mercedes where you'd have ashtrays and cup holders would start to break and you'd have sunroofs would come off the tracks. That doesn't happen in these cars because they design them very simply. They keep the simplicity in mind and that is what's key to owning a Toyota. If you want durability and simplicity, that's where you go. So another reason these vehicles are so popular and as a result, their value stays high so they don't suffer depreciation and they tend to be reliable because of this next reason. Let's take a look. And that is largely because of what we see under here. When we look under the hood, what do we see here? We don't see turbos we see a normally aspirated four liter V6 engine that produces a mild, strong, but mild 270 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. What does that mean? That means the engine is not stressed, no turbos, no high revving nature. It's a strong workhorse with a good mid-range torque, great versatility, but they don't overdo it with squeezing every ounce of horsepower out of this engine. They design them to be functional, strong, versatile, and above and beyond reliable. And more to the point. So BMW has struggled for a while with some of the reliability concerns. A lot of it has been cooling problems or oil leaks, some kind of leaks that leads to bigger problems because they use too much plastic in the engine compartment. Well, let's look here. Disregard this because this is simply just a cover. But if we look under the hood, I mean, look over here. You see metal parts, major components. There's your engine. It's metal valve covers. 
You've got metal everywhere. Okay, you've got a hose here. There's one plastic adapter, but outside of that, you see a lot of metal. You don't see a lot of plastic where it shouldn't reside. Just hoses, the odd adapter, but for the most part, water pumps and thermostats and things that reside that support the cooling system generally are made of metal in these vehicles. So if you really want to try to understand why it is that Toyotas are so reliable and even more specifically the 4Runner that we have here, it's because they do the basics. They do it very well. They don't try to over-engineer things. The parts they do use go through rigorous testing and quality control at the factory. They use the same parts for many years in a row, so if there are any glitches, they quickly weed those out. The Toyota and the 4Runner is the epitome of reliability, and as a result, it does not depreciate because people have recognized the quality and the quality control associated with the Toyota brand. And the Toyota 4Runner, like we have here, has been a staple in the 4x4 community for many, many years. And as a result, it has a strong following, it has a proven reliability, and as a result, the depreciation is next to nothing. So again, as always guys, make sure you hit this link if you want to see more on depreciation. Hit this link if you want to see more on reliability. You're going to love it either way. Hope to see you guys on the next one. Catch you then. Bye-bye.